So my name is Anne Mullally. I'm from the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. I'm a recipient of the MF Challenge grant that was funded by the MPN Foundation and the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I'm a new investigator. I just established my own lab within the last one year and I intend to work and hope to work in this field for a very long time. So this funding has allowed me to build and develop an infrastructure for more long-term future, future projects. My project uh, is focused on the role of uh, growth factors or cytokines sometimes people call them um, on their role in the development of myelofibrosis. So basically myelofibrosis occurs because MPN blood cells um, secrete these abnormal substances, growth factors, cytokines, and they uh, act on the bone marrow microenvironment in which these cells live and they cause uh, changes in this environment over time that ultimately results in the development of fibrosis. Uh, so the goal of my project was to basically identify amongst all of these aberrantly secreted growth factors which are the most important ones, which are the ones particularly that are important early in the process that initiate this process of the development of myelofibrosis and which are the ones that sustain this process over time. We know that patients who have polycythemia for long periods of time can go on to develop fibrosis but there are many patients with polycythemia who never develop fibrosis and so we think if we could um, if we understood the process better, particularly in terms of the inflammatory mediators or cytokines, growth factors, uh, then we could identify those patients and then also potentially we could prevent this from happening. To really make advances in this disease, we really need to understand the biological basis of it better. Right now we don't know which patients will develop myelofibrosis. We have no way of really um, robustly uh, predicting that. So. Um, my project could identify biomarkers um, so that we would have ways to follow patients over time and if we saw things changing we could see fibrosis evolving before it was at a very advanced uh, stage. I also think um, there are a lot of FDA approved drugs currently available that target cytokines and so we could plausibly go from a good therapeutic target identified through my work directly to a uh, clinical trial. My main motivation for working in laboratory is to understand these diseases better and to get better pa uh, treatments and bring those to patients quicker. And I think the MPN Foundation does an incredible job of bringing all together all the different facets that are required for that and of funding work that is directly relevant uh, to patients who are, who are dealing with these diseases.